Monkeypox, fatality confirmed in Los Angeles, a possible U.S. first. A Los Angeles resident with a compromised immune system has died of monkeypox in what is believed to be the first U.S. fatality from the virus. The Los Angeles Department of Public Health reconfirmed the death on Monday, and said that the individual was severely immune compromised and had been hospitalized. No other information on the person was released. The department and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention made the determination that the death was due to the monkeypox. A CDC spokesperson confirmed the corporation did not immediately respond when asked if this was the first U.S. death. It is the second known death of a person diagnosed with the disease in the United States. Texas last month reported the first death in a severely immune-compromised person who was diagnosed with monkeypox. However, that case is still under investigation to see what role monkeypox play in the death. Monkeypox is rarely fatal, but people with weakened immune system may be more likely to get seriously ill or die. Health officials say monkeypox can cause a rash, fever, body ache, and chills, but relatively few people require hospitalization, and only a handful of deaths worldwide have been directly linked to the disease. Anyone can become infected with monkeypox, which spread through close contact with an infected person. Nearly all of the more than 21,985 monkeypox cases in the United States have occurred among gays, bisexual, and other men who have sex with men, according to the CDC. The Biden administration and the CDC have been criticized as slow to tackle the virus. And in recent weeks, announced effort to distribute nearly two million additional vaccines. Cases in some large U.S. city do appear to be declining, matching trend seen in Europe. An expert are cautiously optimistic the outbreak may have peaked in places that were hit hardest. The United States has the most cases globally, with 21,985 confirmed, according to the CDC. California has recorded the most cases nationally, with more than 4,300 Black people and Latinos have been disproportionately infected. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.